Microsoft Windows Vista is a revolution in the appearance of my, the Microsoft Windows operating system that is called Windows Arrow. Today's lesson, personalization. Now we can right click here and in our context menu we see view, of course, our old stuff. Then we see sort by as always, refresh, we'll see that, we'll see paste, paste shortcut as always, play dream scene, this is a Windows Vista Ultimate feature dream scene, you'll learn about it later on. Of course, because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, here we go, the NVIDIA control panel. As always, the NVIDIA control panel is the same. Now we can right click here, you'll still, you know, back to our contact menu, you'll still see new and all that good stuff. And then finally, you'll see a new thing, instead of properties, you'll see personalize. Let's start with our window color and appearance. Right now it's set to default. We can disable transparency. See it's not transparent anymore. Re-enable it. It's back to its old self. Then we can enable another color. As you'll see it's pretty much white there. Hit orange. We have orange. And it slightly changes our start bar, or task bar, just not as much as it does our windows. And, um, you, know, you have any number of colors here. Like with, with your black, you can tune it all the way up, have full black. With your blue, tune it all the way up, have full blue. With your teal, tune it all the way down. You'll just have the default. You can show your color mixer here. And let's see what we can do with it. Well, we do got a nice blue going on there. And then we can open our classic appearance settings which we'll be able to turn Windows arrow off. Go back to your old Windows Classic and everything. Then your high contrasts and all that other good stuff. The desktop background's pretty self explanatory until you get to Windows Dream Scene, which is only Windows Vista Ultimate, yes. Well, let's click on this. See, Windows Dream Scene is an animated desktop. Pause the Dream Scene. You have your normal desktop. Still, just like it always was. Play the Dream Scene. You have a fully animated desktop. Now, y'all didn't catch what just happened down there, but it just had a nice little swivel on your Aurora. Oh, that, that's widescreen. And yes, people, this desktop, I just took the original Windows Aurora and um, inverted the colors. Screensaver, pretty self-explanatory. There, there are some changes with your screensavers. Um, you still have your 3D text. You still have your blank. And you still have your Windows logo in my photos. However, the Windows logo has been changed up a bit. The Windows logo just shows Windows Vista and it shows a swivel with your Aurora. Sounds is the same as it's always been. There's nothing new. Your mouse pointers, not really anything new there either. Theme, well, with XP, that was basically changing the colors and all themes are in here is changing all of your visual auditory elements at one time, your 
uh, screen saver, your computer sound, and so on and so forth. Your display settings is still your resolution. Well, we'll um, we'll get back to this in a while, but for now, that's really all that needs to be said about Windows Vista. Um, of course, yes, I'm talking about personalization, and yes, everyone, there is the difference in your taskbar. It's you can still change your size of your taskbar through personalization. Well, with personalization, though, nothing new there. Uh, you can't change it. You can change what shows up here, though. So you can click properties, start menu, customize computer. I have all the defaults: displays, link, control panel, displays, link. Documents displays link, games displays link, music link, so on and so forth. And um, I actually believe, if I'm not mistaken, I've added in the video. And no, I have not. Well, that just goes to show you, you, you don't always have what you think you have. And so really, that's about all there is to say about uh, the Windows Vista and personalization other than this nice feature that um, I really wish XP had because it wouldn't be as much of a problem to do to resize your um, icons. You see, I'm holding control here, and I start scrolling up, if I can get it to work. And you see now my icons get bigger, then they get smaller. It's it's really much easier to resize your icons. And then if you wanna change that back, I believe it's here or it's somewhere else. See where it would be. Uh change desktop icons. It, it, there's one for you. No, that not where it is. Um, shoot. I have forgotten where to go. And that that is just an example that it's not that hard to get lost with Windows Vista. However, it wasn't as hard. It was harder to get lost with Windows X. Well, actually easier to get lost with Windows XP. Um, so that's about that. That's Windows Vista Ultimate and your personalization for you. Um, it's been a great time. This is Dr. Gator, and uh, I'll see you next time.